hello guys and uh, welcome back to the another video tutorial about uh, creating a raw simulation package to control our uh, custom robotic arm in our previous tutorials uh, we had created a move it package using move it setup assistant using which we can uh, open or simulate our robotic arm in rvs and gazebo and we can give some predefined poses to our robotic arm using rvs and it will simulate it in uh, gazebo so we had created two arm groups like two groups one is arm group and one is hand so arm group contains the links of the arm and hand group contains the links of the end effector we had also created some uh, predefined poses so as you can see we have various poses created so if i give any position or select any position like click object uh, pose and click on plan and execute it will plan to uh, go to that position in rvis and it will send the uh, command to reach the position using the uh, ros controllers to the gazebo and it will uh, also move the arm to that position so in our today's tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to write a python script which will do the work to command the robotic arm to go to these various predefined poses so we just need to uh, write the code and we can uh, give these steps sequentially so that it will uh, simulate the uh, motion of this robotic arm so uh, the python script will do the thing is it will uh, give this command in a sequence so that the robotic arm will do the work of pick and place robot so uh, if you have not watched the tutorial about how to create this move it package so you can go on my youtube channel and follow the uh, complete series available about this tutorial series so let's begin with our today's tutorial so first uh, i need to close the running simulations so i will kill all the processes so to write the python script we need to create a script folder in our uh, move it package so open your terminal and go to the uh, your move it workspace so type the command cd the home directory and your catkin package so i created a package named move it underscore workspace or underscore ws so type the command and press enter now so is the setup.bash file available in the devil folder so type the command source devil slash setup.bash and press enter now again you need to go to the src folder of your move it workspace or your catkin workspace and the move it package that you created using move it setup assistant then press enter so if you type the command ls or list directories and press enter you can see here we have only two folders available that is config and launch so to contain our uh, python script we need to create a new folder named scripts so type the command mkdir scripts and press enter so as you can see the command have created a new folder in the your move it package now go to that scripts folder and here we need to create a python file which will contain our uh, script to control the robotic arm so type the command gedit and give the name of the python file that you want to create so this python file will act as a node so i will name it accordingly so i will name it node set predefined pose dot py py and press enter so the python file will get created and it will open in a text editor so to make your work easy i have uh, provided the script in the video description so what you can do is 
you can download the script from the provided link and you can open the link sorry open the file and copy the code from the file and paste it in the newly created python file so let's go through the code of this python file so what it does is it first creates or uh, sorry it first imports all the necessary libraries needed then we will create a class for the uh, for uh, defining or controlling various groups so i will name the class as my robot then i will write the uh, default constructor then we will initialize the move it commander and the rospy node so here i am presuming that you know uh, how to write the python script and the uh, object oriented concepts in the python so here in the default constructor we will uh, initialize the rospy node and we will start the move it commander then we instantiate the robot commander object so this object is the uh, outer level interface to the robot then we instantiate the uh, planning inter planning scene interface so this is the uh, interface to uh, mapping or the uh, surrounding of the robot then here we uh, define the planning group like self dot planning group for this uh, robot so here the argument we are taking as input when we define the uh, object so here in default constructor we have the argument name group name so when we define the object we need to pass the name of the group then this planning group is given to the uh, move group commander and we instantiate a move group commander object so this object is an interface to the uh, group of joint like uh, arm group or hand group so this uh, inter this will act as an interface and it can be used to uh, plan the motion of the robotic arm then we create a display trajectory publisher which is used to uh, publish the trajectories uh, for the rv's visualization then we create a, a action server client to give the commands to our robotic arm and then here it is just for uh, displaying like uh, here we get the our various things like frame indefector link and the robotic groups available and then here using this rospy log info we print the information this acts similar to the uh, print uh, command then we define the position like uh, set pose and to that we get the uh, first argument as self which is the self uh, class which is like a mandatory argument and uh, the next argument is the uh, argument pose name so it is the default pose name or the name of the predefined position so here again we print like uh, our robotic arm is ready or we are going to pose and here we have the uh, command like group dot set name target and we need to pass the name of the predefined position so uh, if you don't know about the move it commander interface in python you can uh, go to these links and you can find various uh, functions available in the move it commander in the python interface so here we will use the command set named target and we will pass the predefined position then we plan the desired joint space goal using the default planner then we create a, a goal message object for the uh, action server then we update the trajectory in the goal message and after that we send the goal to the uh, our action client uh, action server using the client that we have created then we will wait until the uh, desired position is reached and after that i will uh, uh, we will print like we are now at the pose and we will print the name of the position and we also define the uh, class destructor which will delete the uh, object and the class uh, sorry which will delete the object when we uh, close our code then we define the main function so in main function 
Now we will create an object named arm. We will initialize the object from the my robot class and we will pass the name of the group which is arm group. Also similarly we will create another object hand and we will again instantiate it from the class my robot and we will pass the group name as hand. Now we will write a while loop so which will run until the ROS is running. In this first what we will do is we will call the function our set pose available in the class. So we will call it in on the object arm dot set pose and we will pass the name of the position that we want to go. Then we will wait for two minutes using the command rospy dot sleep. So ros will wait for two seconds. Then we will give another position to the arm like straight up. Then we will give another position like hand open. So it will open the robotic uh, uh, gripper or the end effector. Then we will go to the position to pick the object. Then again we will give the position to the hand group to close the uh, end effector. Then we will lift the object and we will do some kind of motion so that it will pick and place the object from one side to another side. And then after we uh, after the end we will delete the arm group and again here I forgot sorry arm object. So here we will delete the arm object and again I will delete the uh, hand group. So type delete hand sorry hand object. So we need to delete the hand object. Uh, uh, okay first uh, now save the uh, python file press ctrl s. Now the python file is saved. So don't worry about this uh, indentation. So what you can do is you can give spaces and again save and close the python file. So if you list the directory you can see here we have the python file available. Now to make this python file executable we need to run the command sudo chmod plus x and the python file name and press enter you need to give your linux password and press enter so now again if i list the uh, directories you can see the python file name is shown is green which means we can now run this command using our python terminal sorry we can run this using our terminal. So now again I will clear the terminal. Again go to your uh, catkin workspace so cd your workspace name and press enter. Again source the setup.bash file available in the devil folder. So type the command source devil slash setup.bash and press enter. Now before we launch our uh, full raw simulation or uh, the launch file that we created in our last tutorial first open the another terminal and type the command raw score sorry you need to type it in the another terminal and press enter so our raw score service is running now in the our previous terminal type the command ROS launch your package name your movie package name and the launch file name that uh, you created last in last tutorial to run the uh, RVs and gazebo interface then press enter so it will open RVs and gazebo So uh, I will arrange the windows a uh, little uh, properly so that you can see what is happening. So again the okay so I need to position this terminal here so that you can see what is happening. 
now what you need to do is you need to open another terminal so okay i will keep it here i will make it little small so that you can see the gazebo as well as the raw arvis okay so here again go to your catkin workspace or your move it workspace source the uh, setup file and press enter now run the command ros run your package name and the file name your python file name and press enter So as you can see our python file is running and it is giving the commands to our robotic arm yeah. and you, as you can see here in this terminal you can see the execution uh, logs. So as you can see it is showing like uh, it is working. So as you can see it has picked the object from the another position and placed on the opposite direction. Right now we don't have any object, we are just uh, simulating the pick and place movement. Now the script will uh, keep repeating the uh, positions. So to understand the working of this python script, you can go through the script and you can uh, read the comments that I have added. If you have any queries, you can post your comments or your queries in the comments and I will try to answer them uh, as per my best knowledge. So hope you liked our today's tutorial. Hit like if you like the video. Do subscribe my channel if you like my tutorials. Thank you so much for your support, enjoy your day, keep learning, thank you so much.